Okay. We're in the finals. We're going to keep this. Opponents on the play. We got all three colors. And a two drop. This is just a good hand. So let's open it up with the Evolving Wilds. So we get to go Gnarled into turn four Dampening Pulse. I guess that's not that broken. But it's not the worst. At least we're hitting Landfall for a while. Yeah, and we're, I guess, working towards our top end. Coastal Discovery looks good in this hand. In case of Flood. Green-White. No three drop play, that's a bit scary. What do we got here? What are we building towards? Ooh, Royal Spout's a good draw. So next turn I guess we get to go Dampening Pulse, swing for three again? Are we gonna be able to swing for three? Guess we'll find out. Ooh, Dampening Pulse. Never looked better. Another Beastmaster, you say? All right, well, that's a thing. So I guess my hope now is that he sacks those Eldrazi tokens for something big and we get to punish with the Royal Spout. That's a sensible block. I mean, I won't be able to get the full value of Royal Spout. Ooh, from beyond, that's pretty good. Chump block central. All right, all right, all right. I guess we're we've got all the six drops in hand. In fact, I, I actually think we we have four of our five six drops in hand. Well, I'm as you might imagine. I'm. You know, I love value, right? Well, if you know that I love value, then you should know I'm just going to be playing six drops for probably the next four turns. I think we're going to start it off with the Beastmaster. Could start off with the Coastal Discovery, I guess, but we're going to start it off with the Beastmaster. I guess if he plays something super fat... Oh, Eyeless Watcher. All right. Tokens for days. My opponent's got a lot of chump blocks. I'll give him, I'll, I'll give him credit there. Fertile Thicket. Well, not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I guess we can actually Coastal Discovery here. No, I guess we play Beastmaster. The reason to play Beastmaster instead of Coastal Discovery is that Coastal Discovery eats up one of our lands when we awaken. So there's a chance if we don't top deck an untapped land that... We can't play Beastmaster next turn. Or we can play Beastmaster, but we can't use our Awakened Land. I guess the, the chance of that was slim enough where maybe I just shouldn't have cared. But that's okay. I don't have ways to deal with enchantments in my deck, do I? I do not. I don't even think I've got it on a sideboard. So we're just going to have to worry about the old from beyond. Well, I can deal with a fatty. Uh, maybe you got the Desolation Twin that I passed. That would make sense. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. All right. So I can deal with the first one. I don't know what I quite what I do about the second one though. 
Stalwart's not bad. All right. Fertile Thicket. Wait. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, my opponent can replay it next turn, so I got to do it to the Eldrazi. No. All right. Let's Royal Spout this dude. So, take care of Token. I'm trying to think how we deal with the Desolation Twin now. I almost don't want to bounce it. Because it doesn't seem great. How do I deal with Desolation Twin? Can't steal it. I can Shear Drop it. Did I pick up a Boiling Earth? I might want to splash for that. Yeah, we're, bringing, we're going to bring in Boiling Earth. We have triple Lifespring Druid. It just seems too easy to pass up. Oosh. That hurts. Well, I guess, I mean, it hurts, but could be worse. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to block with Narlet here. I think I'm actually going to take nine. I kind of feel like I need as many threats as possible here. Natural connection, that's not the sexiest. So I guess we coastal discovery. There's an Ugin's insight. All right, that's not bad. Let's uh, swing with Beastmaster. I mean, theoretically, I can put enough Awaken on this where... I mean, right now I can at least double block the Desolation Twin. Fortified Rampart's pretty irrelevant. I mean, it gets to block Beastmaster for now, but not forever. So, I'm going to need my... I'm going to need, like, Trample or something at some point. Blighted Step for more life gain. Opponent's deck is pretty sweet. I'll give him credit for that. Kind of makes sense now why every round's kind of gone to time. <laughs> Stack seems slow but effective. Dampening Pulse is doing work right now. I also get to scry six with Ugin's Insight, which is pretty absurd. I don't know what I'm going to do about this Desolation Twin, though. I, what do I do about it? I can't Shear Drop it. Can't clutch it. Can't steal it. I can tightening coils it. All right. I guess I can do that. But then you can still block it. It's not good enough. No, it's not bad. Let's do insight. I, I need to find something here. I could just play threats. Yeah, I guess that is what we're going to do. These are allies, though. Hmm. I see the issue. I could just play a Beastmaster and then... Yeah, that's actually... So we're playing the Beastmaster, 
because it double pumps this so I can swing for 10. And then my opponent can't really crack back either because I can just double block with the Beastmasters. So this at least keeps him off a... Uh, I'm just trying to keep his token count as low as possible here. It's going to be tough to get enough gas to get past this Desolation Twin. Hmm. All right. I guess if my opponent wants to crack it now, I'll allow it. I feel like he could have waited on that. Don't think he was in a big rush. So what's my plan? My plan is get enough bodies out there where I can eventually get past. I mean, that seems difficult. I can't really comfortably ever bounce Desolation Twin because my opponent's just going to be able to recast it. Granted, it'll cost him some Scions, but it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Well, it worked out pretty well for our opponent, pretty poorly for us. So, I mean, we're in pretty serious trouble. Oh. Well, that's a bold attack. Don't mind if I do. Kind of glad he did that. I feel like that was a pretty major error on his part. Six, seven, I can deal with. Uh, let's play. I guess I play two stalwarts, but then I'm just hugely pumped up. Hmm. Probably still do it. So then I can triple block this threat and be fine. Or chump it in a pinch. I'm not getting as much Beastmaster value as I'd like, but it's okay. So now, I, I mean, the fact that he let me kill Desolation Twin is pretty good news, because now we can find an out for this 6-7. Like, bouncing the 6-7 is a lot less relevant than, than bouncing the Desolation... Bouncing the Desolation Twin just was not part of the equation. Career Griffin. All right, well, I have outs for that, but I admit I'm going to have to find them. Thankfully, Dampening Pulse, once again, doing work. Can't really attack with his 6-7. So I guess the play is just going to be Ugin's Insight. Find a way to bounce this land. And we got to start crashing in. We do get to scry 6 from Ugin's Insight. Oh, he's attacking? That seems like a incorrect attack, but maybe his last uh, card is relevant here. I mean, we're certainly blocking, I'll tell you that much. It's not that good of a two-for-one for him. I think that was a mistake on his part, but I, of course, will allow it. 
Um, let's insight first. Well, I do kind of need some threats. So we're going to hold the land. Yeah, I guess we just swing with both. Can't kill the fortified rampart. But we're just going to play a territorial bail off here. That's not even a wise attack, but I appreciate it. I mean, you have the fortified rampart. Why wouldn't you want to block with it? <laughs> More... More stuff I have to worry about. Boiling Earth is... Looks like it's going to be an incredible sideboard card this match. Giant Mantis. Doesn't this, like, find something for you, too? Yeah. Eldrazi's. All right. Unfortunately, a four-toughness guy is an actual problem. And now I kind of have to find an out for that silly courier griffin. Ooh. Well, that... that constitutes an out. So exert it now. I guess I don't have to yet. Let's let's uh let's wait on that. He's got no cards left in hand. I want to find something relevant here. I do get to scry 6 after all. Okay, so bottom, bottom, bottom the druid. These 3 I'm kind of okay with though. Guess we just swing there. And then I'm gonna play another Tajuru Stalwart. Ah man, I forgot again. That one was actually a costly one too. We gotta remember this thing's an ally. Plated Crusher. That guy's pretty big. It was a good top deck. I'll give my opponent credit there. It was a good top deck. All right. So I guess we got to exert some influence here. Fertile Thicket. That's not the land I'm looking for. Hmm. All right. Let's play it. Unfortunately, I'm going to be late for my soccer game because this game takes too long. All right. Don't want to use that. Let's swing with this. I think we're just about ready to probably just steal the griffin. But if I do that, one, two, three, four, five, I won't have enough to infuse, but I can just double block this anyway. All right, let's, let's exert the influence. This protects us from random top deck annoyance. And infuse, like, if he were to top deck, say, a pump spell, we'd just die. Whereas now I can attack into Plated Crusher and kill it. Plus this thing gets to beat in now. Although I guess not with the Mantis. Basically just hoping our opponent misses here. 
or and there's quite a few things that I constitute as a miss. Not only a land, but even if it's just like less impressive creatures than what we have, I consider that a miss. It was a long game one. No attacks. You got it. One card in hand. Sure. All right. Um, so I think we get to swing with... I guess I can just swing with career griffin, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to swing with more. He's at 40 life, though, and I have to worry about the plated crusher. That is a concern. I guess we just swing with Beastmaster and Baloth. It's an interesting block. All right, well, that was awesome. Does our opponent have the board wipe? Hopefully not. Guess our opponent decided to concede because they're low on time. I actually don't know, but I appreciate it. All right, I don't think I've got... Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say I don't have a sideboard, but that's a lie. Boiling Earth, way too good in this matchup to pass up on. All right, so we're bringing in the Boiling Earth, and I guess we'll drop a... Two, four, six, eight, four. We'll probably drop an island for it. Could drop a white mana for it. I, yeah, I guess. We'll drop a white mana for it. Bring in a mountain. There we go. Wait, what did I? Oh, I forgot to drop a card for Boiling Earth. That makes sense. Let's drop a, uh, I don't know, expensive thing. Territorial Baloth, maybe? This is a creature too. Yeah, Baloth can go for it. All right. Hmm. Yeah, this hand is actually fine. Hopefully find our white mana, but I'll settle for our red mana too. Opponent mulls to six. Ooh. All right. White or red, please. Yes. There it is. We even get to go Gnarled into Stalwart? Our deck's broken. Serene Steward. I don't think I saw any life gain in there. Well, you saw the plane, so I'll allow it. Lifespring Druids are a bit less sexy here. Oh, Fortify Rampart. You lucky duck. There's a little clutch occurrence. Nice. Guess I could drop the Lifespring Druid. I'm not attacking with Stalwart anyway. Although, no, that's not true. 
I might be. My opponent has yet to play a green mana, which I think is telling. Well, I just top decked it, in my opinion. I'll do Great Horn. All right. Um, that attack doesn't make sense. So, Fertile Thicket number two. Digging for red mana? Well, I could see it. There it is. Swing with these two. Oh, wait. I didn't have to... Uh, I, I kind of botched that, actually. I didn't need to dig for the red mana because I have the Life Spring Druid. Not, like, debilitatingly bad, but a little bit loose on my part. Especially since I don't really need land here. I just wanted the cutesiness of finding a mountain a bit too much. Eyeless Watcher. All right. Hope I didn't bottom a Dampening Pulse at some point. One card left in my opponent's hand. All right. Not the worst. So I guess I can clutch... Great horn. Makes the thicket come alive. Swing for nine. So I'm a mana away from Boiling Earth, doing some work for us. Got it. Is he ready to swing down on us yet? Just for two. Interesting. Ugin's Insight. Well, it's a nice draw. Let's, uh... I can only scry three, but that's... Just fine. I guess we pre-combat that, actually. Just because I'm legitimately curious what we're going to see here. So, don't need the white mana. Stalwart and Coastal Discovery definitely seem pretty good. So, let's say I smash for 90 blocks. I've got more cards in hand. I'm going to play it safe. Play for the long game. My opponent can use Blighted Woodland defensively or offensively, but I don't think that really matters. We've got the card advantage. Granted, our opponent's got Desolation Giant, or whatever his name is in there. So it's something I'm going to have to be concerned about at some point, but... Um, he could crack this, get two more, bring this up to eight. It's pretty big, actually. Hmm. Do I need, I don't really need Lifespring Druid anymore, I guess. I think we'll just protect ourselves.
All right, no play. So let's go land. And I think now I actually am going to divide my... Well, I guess we can swing for nine now and play Stalwart plus Life, Life Spring Druid. Seems fine to me. Didn't crack the Blighted Woodland, so I guess he's still hoping to use it offensively with the Great Horn. Sheer Drop? It's my guess. Is a sheer drop. Not the end of the world, though. Now I can't attack with the Great Horn, which is also pretty good. Ooh, Royal Spout, too. It's pretty nice. So we can do that. We can actually get rid of this. Then smash for a bunch. Um, let's play land. And then I have to think about it. So I can Royal Spout Awaken, swing for 4, 7, 10, 13, 15. He can block this, so 13. He has to do some chumping. We can keep Lifespring Druid. Otherwise, I can just top this. Swing for 9, which also seems really good. Yeah, we'll do that, I think. So let's tap mana first. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six. Cast with Awaken. Get rid of that. Do this. Swing with these three. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's not the worst. And he's swinging like that. Seems like a slightly ballsy attack. That's interesting. Um, I can just eat the steward and take eight, or I can double block the four, four. This thing gets bigger. Well, I can't make it bigger now. I probably just double block the land and take six and allow him to, oh, it eats both my guys though. Hmm. I think I just eat this and take eight. Be okay with that. Hmm. It's kind of nice, actually. So... Let's swing back in tightening coils. Got some options here. Let's 
swing with these three. So with two land drops, he can make this a 6-7, which I think is fine. Make that big. Pass. Actually, did I, I don't think I screwed this up, actually. I can still block these two. Did get the extra landfall on this, but I think I'm okay. It might have been a little bit too dangerous of an attack, but I'm not horribly worried about it. Yeah, if that's his best attack, then I think we're okay. You can make that an 8-9, so we just chump block. Oh, so he's got the Desolation guy? That's funny. Hmm. So the last card is the big man. Let's play land. Let's... I guess... Let me anticipate. I want to... I, I want to eat his board, so I want boiling... I want boiling nonsense. Boiling earth, please. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I can... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I don't have the... Oh, okay. That's all right. Let's go boiling earth. Take care of your baddies. Beautiful. Then we can... I had infused with the elements. That probably would have been good enough. I guess. I'm trying to think how he has to block here. I don't want to die. I think his last card is that desolation thing, though. Um... Say he blocks my biggest guy. He has to block my other guy, too. Okay. So he has to jump, and then he has to block my... Yeah. This is fine. He goes to one. And then we play this. And I think we're okay, especially if his last card is what I thought it was, which is the desolation thing. All right. Beautiful. Got there. All right. I got to go to soccer, so I can't really talk about it. Hope you enjoyed the uh, Converge deck. That was a lot of fun. All right. We'll see you for the next draft. It will be an 8-4.